If we beat the game, maybe we'll get like a first by default. All we gotta do is beat the devs. Um, there's other cars. Okay, th this actually should put me at a huge advantage. Are you gonna push me out of the way? I knew it. I knew it! Okay, so we wanna park there last. This is actually just driving in Vancouver. I'm merging on the Highway 1. I've been killed in a horrific accident. There's only two spots here. Skirt. Me trying to drive on Broadway with all the damn construction. Excuse me, I'm just trying to get to Banana Leaf. Skirt me! No, they count that. Okay, run me back. Skirt. Skirt. Oh, I left my own car on the road. Yeah, there you go. We're, this is... He's threading the damn needle, dude. You go ahead. You go first. Stop me. Oh! Okay. Touch. Oh, I was doing it, too. <laughs> it's true. Why are they driving in the... Like, not even in the middle of the road. They're driving right on top of the, of the damn line. Son of a bitch. Typical Vancouver drivers just driving into the ocean. Honestly, about once every three months, you see a post on r slash Vancouver. And the, the headline is usually just, what the hell? And it's always the same thing. It's always just a car flipped over in someone's yard. Like, where it looks like there's no way that, like, there's no object that could have possibly caused the car to flip like that. It's just like, they. I guess they were going too fast, hit a curve, panic steered, like, Ford Explorer 2000 rollover risk, and then just, just yeeted it into somebody's front yard. Lots, there's a post about once a week of someone not realizing that um, the seawall is for bikes and human beings only, and instead, like, driving their Fiat 500 on the, in the bike lane, but... That one's at least slightly more understandable, if not any more forgivable. Owned? Owned? Chill. Perfect. Okay. 